hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are watching this video first time don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon also so without any late let's begin our tutorial so yesterday we discussed about the file menu home menu uh, insert design transition so today we will discuss about the animation menu and if you have any kind of confusion about my previous video you can ask me in the comment sections so without any late let's begin our tutorial so first of all i'll go to in layout and i'll make it sorry no it's okay for me so first of all i'll write here hello and i will click in the click to add subtitle and i'll write here thank you okay thank you yeah now from today we are uh, learning animation so inside the animation menu you can see there is uh, lots of large sections available uh, one of is one each animation uh, and the second one is advanced animation and uh, the third one is timing sections so from the first sections we we can put animation you see you can see here there are lots of large animation available you can use entrance effects the green color effects is called entrance effect and the impact is effects also available and you can see there is a red color effect also and uh, this is a exit effects and from the motion path also you can use this one so first of all you have to on the animation pan so after opening on the animation pan you have to choose the animation effect so first of all i am choosing the animation effect so you can see there are lots of lots animation effect right so first of all i'll go to in more entrance effect and i'll choose my favorite the drop one now you can see there is an animation effect inside my animation pan and if i want to use another effects i have to go again in the uh, animation and you can uh, you have to click in the more effects now you can see there are lots of lots effects available you can use as per your requirement but now i'm removing this one and from the if uh, from the eight animation also you can put your favorite animation to your text images and shapes so uh, you can see here is only text available inside my uh, presentation so from the eight animation i can see there are uh, lots of lots in trans effects available uh, emphasis effects available and exit effects available but first of all i'll choose the more entrance effects so from here you can see there are lots of large entrance effects available and i'm choosing the uh, drop entrance effect and i'll click in the ok now this hello turn finished so i'll go in the thank you and here also i'll click in the animation and i will choose another entrance effect and if you want to uh, use the entrance effect just you have to go in the add animation okay so if you want to bring something inside your slide uh, if you want to bring your text if you want to bring your images if you uh, if you want to bring your chart in that case you have to use the entrance effect but uh, from the emphasis effects you can use uh, different kind of animation effects and from the exit effects if you uh, if you are trying to exit your uh, text your images your shapes from your slide and in that case you have to use the exit effects and from the motion path it will give a uh, direction to your uh, text to your shapes to your images but in this example i am using the text right so you, you can see there is a two entrance effect inside my animation pan so now again i am using the another effects so i am uh, using the exit effects in this time so i'll choose another effects i am choosing again i think i should choose the flip and i'll go in the thank you and from here also i'll go in more exit effects and i'll choose the flip again 
now you can see there is a uh, four animation available inside my animation pan and in the timing sections you can see there is a uh, lots of lots of option available the first option is uh, on click with previous after previous the and what is the tax of the on click if you click in the mouse and your effect will start to work then in that case you have to choose the on click options and what is with previous if you want to uh, uh, play your all the animation in same time in that case you have to choose the with previous but if you want to play your animation one by one then in that case you have to use the after previous but in this time i am using the after previous because i want to play my effects one by one that's why i am choosing the uh, after previous now i'll go in the thank you and i'll make it uh, after previous and from here you can choose the duration also how long you want to play this one and from the delay you can uh, use the uh, timing also so how long delay you want to use in your slide so and you can see there is a uh, four uh, effects available inside my slide so and if you want to change the background of your uh, slide then in that case you have to click in the design and from the format background you can change the background of your slide so and but i am choosing the another uh, gradient just wait for a moment i am choosing this one and i'm clicking in the apply tool you can see after this you can go in the slide so and you have to click in the from beginning you can see there is a, a beautiful animation playing inside my uh, slide so right so it's the amazing features of microsoft powerpoint now see uh, before the hello entrance in, inside my presentation then after that the my exit effect start to work so you can uh, uh, set your uh, animation uh, using the animation pan okay so uh, and another option also available from here just wait for a moment if if i use another animation so there is lots of lots uh, in trans effects available so first of all i'll remove all the effects so i'll remove it also i'll remove it also and i'll remove it now see uh, there is no animation inside my animation pan right so now i'm using the another uh, another effect so i think i should do in, uh, insert another new slide by pressing ctrl plus m but it's okay for me so i am clicking this one so you can see there is nothing inside my slide only the background color is available inside my slide background and from the insert i am choosing a pictures from here and just wait for a moment i am clicking in the desktop and from here i am using a images inside the pics just wait for a moment i am from the camera roll i am choosing a picture so i am clicking in the insert now you can see uh, there is a photo available inside my slide so and from here i'll go to in animations and from here from the add animations you can see i am choosing uh, effects i'm choosing it fly in and from the effect option there are, you can see there are lots of plus direction available now i'm using the from bottom it means my slide show is coming from the uh, just wait for a moment i'll go to slide show and from the current slide show i'll choose this one now you can see my images is coming from the bottom side and if you want to make this one uh, from top you have to click in the effect option and just make it from top now you can see my enemy my images is coming from uh, from the just wait for a moment now you can see it's coming from the top side right so you can also set the direction as per your requirement so and from the animation painter uh, uh, painter also you can use the this kind of painter uh, okay and there is a trigger also available from the on click of uh, sorry on click of picture one now you can see and there are lots of lots of options available and uh, it is one of the useful useful options uh, to your microsoft powerpoint if you are creating amazing microsoft powerpoint slide show so there is another option also available that is motion path uh, so i am removing the um, this effects so from the 8 animation i am using the 
motion path now you can see there are lots of lots uh, motion path available uh, the first one is basic another is line curves another is special and another also nothing <laughs> now you can see there are lots of lots option available you can use your favorite motion path from here you can use heart you can use octagon you can use down also you can use right there are lots of lots uh, motion paths available or you can use the wave also from here so I think it, uh, this is the amazing feature of Microsoft Excel. So now you can see there is a beautiful animation playing inside my presentation. So you can also use these features to make amazing Microsoft PowerPoint slides. So, so hoping you understand about the animation menu and uh, you understand about the entrance effects impasse effects motion uh, sorry uh, more exit effects and you uh, you understand about the motion paths hoping uh, you get some idea about the animation you you, you get some idea how can you uh, implement the um, all the kinds of effects inside your uh, slideshow or inside your presentation so if you have any kind of confusion uh, in this video you can ask me in the comment section i'll try to give answer of your answer uh, of your questions so don't forget to uh, subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share this video to your friend also who are trying to learn the microsoft powerpoint and uh, give me a like also uh, if you if you uh, learn something from this video so i'll meet with you in another video Thank you so much. Goodbye. See you soon.